This video will show you how to install a conversion kit, which will convert your unit from using one fuel type to another, i.e. changing it from using propane to natural gas, on your 10 liter Marais tankless water heater. It will be best to remove this unit from the wall and place it horizontally on the table or workbench, and use an impact driver to remove all the screws in this process. Start off by shutting off your water and gas supply to the unit. Then, remove the unit from your wall and place on your workbench or designated brick area. Remove the knobs by pulling them straight off and away from the unit. And then, remove the cover screws. Two are located on the bottom corners and four across the top center seam. Next, remove the cover by lifting up on the cover. Please note that if you have a digital temperature display, you will need to disconnect the two clips in order to fully remove your cover. This shot shows the two parts that you should have received to perform the conversion of your unit. One part is your gas valve stem and the second piece is your new burner assembly. Start by removing the two screws that secure the retaining plate of the gas valve stem. Please note, leave the screw securing the ground wire in place. Pull the stem directly out from the unit and slide the retaining plate off the gas valve stem. At this point, take note of the different sized orifices of your gas valve stems. In case you get them mixed up, the valve stem with the larger orifices is the natural gas valve stem, and the valve stem with the smaller orifices is used for propane. Next, slide the gas valve retaining plate onto the stem and insert the stem back into the gas valve with the guide pin positioned at the 12 o'clock. Reinsert the two screws that secure the retaining plate to the gas valve. Now, we want to start removing the burner assembly. There are two screws that secure the burner assembly to the brass water valve assembly. It is very important to start with the bottom screw that can be located through the access hole on the bottom of the case. Next, remove the top screw that secures the burner assembly to the water valve assembly. Please take caution and do not lose the small rubber o-ring that provides the seal between the burner assembly and the water valve assembly seen here. Next, move on to the support brackets found on each side of the burner assembly and remove the screw that secures this bracket to the burner assembly. Now you will want to remove the three black wires that connect the igniters and the thermocouple sensor to the ignition. This will allow you to completely remove the burner assembly from the unit. Please note that your burner assemblies can be identified via a stamp on the bottom side of the assembly. The assembly with a .66 stamp is used for propane and the assembly with a 1.11 is used for natural gas. 
This way you can identify the proper burner assembly in case you get them mixed up during this process. Now you are ready to begin installing your burner assembly. Insert the burner assembly as seen here. And start by reinserting the top screw that secures the burner assembly to the brass water valve assembly. Next, carefully insert the bottom screw through the access port on the bottom of the case and secure it firmly in place on the back side of the burner assembly. Please be sure that both screws are very securely fastened. Next, reattach the support brackets on each side of the burner assembly and take note that the burner assembly is level. Now you are ready to reconnect the three black wires that we removed previously. Please note that the black wire with the blue tape needs to be connected to your thermocouple sensor, which is located in the middle between the two igniters. At this time, you are ready to remount your unit back on the wall. Check for gas leaks. Please spray your gas connection with glass cleaner or soapy water. If you see bubbles, you have a leak and will want to loosen your connections and retighten. Please be sure to use a backup wrench when you are performing this connection. Finally, you are ready to replace your front cover. Please note to reconnect the clips to the digital display if applicable and reconnect the knobs on the front of the unit. With the knobs holding the front cover in place, you are ready to insert the four top screws and two bottom screws that secure the front cover. Next. Reconnect the water supply lines and now you're ready to activate your water heater.